Well folks, welcome to my very first vlog, my really of 2021, back in France. I got back uh, safely, thankfully. Quite easy to get back from the United Kingdom into France. I had my, my PCR test in order to actually get back in the country. But because of Brexit, that horrible word that divided a country, and I've had to apply for residency here in France. How long is that going to take? I don't know, but I've got basically got 90 days and I have to get out of the country if that doesn't happen. But I, hopefully that's not going to happen. In any case, there's a couple of things I want to bring you up to speed with, with my own situation with regards to vlogging and work. And that's going to be that I only really want to do one vlog a week. And the simple reason is I just, sim I just don't have the time to be doing two vlogs a week because I'm a working professional photographer and there's so many other things that have gone by the wayside in the last year or so because I've been trying to do to do YouTube just a little bit more because I've been here in France and I haven't been traveling across the world in the various countries that I go to so for me YouTube is it kind of took a bit of a, a forward step and I wanted to take a, a back step now so I'm going to be releasing a video on a Friday and I'm hoping I can keep it up just at least doing it once a week. I mean, I've, I've actually come out today and this must be what I'm going to say is probably the worst vlog you might get of 2021. Why? Well, well, according to all of the weather forecasts that I've seen for right now, right now it is supposed to be sunny and really nice and I'm just looking around and thinking somebody please look out of their window and change the weather forecast because it's hopeless at the moment. I've driven approximately two hours from where I live in the central Loire Valley near to Tour and um, it's just got worse and worse and worse. It was raining at some point. There's one photo which I'm hoping to show you a location that I've been wanting to go and research for a long time now. I've known it's been there. I think it's this one and I'm going to go and photograph it after this sequence and show you what it is that I do. Is where I am, is this a possible place to come to? Actually behind the camera that way you might be able to see i'm not sure what's on the back of the gopro but there's like a church or something down there that looks as though it could be quite interesting and there's like a small deposit of something i don't know it almost looks like an old mining tower that i'm stood on so that actually could look quite nice on a on a early morning uh, and the early morning light because the the east is that way so that looks as though that could be a, a dawn location I've researched a couple, of, a couple of other locations that I was going to show you today. Why? Well, two reasons. One, just to, to vlog something. And then the other thing that I wanted to do was show you uh, some of the things that I'm trying to research for the book that I'm working on. I'm hoping I'm going to be working on. I'm still waiting on my, on my contract at the moment, which is uh, a little bit frustrating, but there's not much that I can do about it. But I've one of the good things is, is, although it hasn't really worked out in some respects today, it has worked out in other things insofar as I'm thinking, well, actually, that location there that I'd marked on the map, actually, it doesn't work and it's not really worth saying to people, go there, it's something really nice to go and look at. I found, for example, an old ruined castle, which is kind of interesting, but it's photographically, it's kind of not really worth it. There's nothing really to to really draw the eye there's nothing really there to to really to take you there just to, to admire the ruin but photographically speaking it's not worth it in any case what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back to my car and I'm going to drive for about 10 minutes and I'm going to show you a location I would hoped to do at sunset but there's going to be no sunset today in so far as really nice you know uh, a winter sunset it's just as I said it's cold miserable and grey but there you go hopefully it's not setting the tone for 2021 we are going to be getting out of things we are going to be progressing through this year so uh, let's move on to where i wanted to somewhere i wanted to show you and do a photo i think it's going to be a long exposure photo but anyway let's move on behind me is the scene that i wanted to show you a scene that i looked at and i thought do you know what actually it's not too bad it's not too bad a location to come to and I'm just wondering if it's something that I would really direct people to actually to stop and then to actually come here to photograph it. Is it something that works? Do you know what? I think 
that given the direction that it's facing, that church back there, or I think it's an old abbey actually, I'm not sure, is that it could actually work either at sunrise or sunset, depending on the time of year. I'm not actually sure if I'm on the banks of the Loire. I don't think I am. I think this is a slightly different river. But when you go over the bridge that's just here, you've actually, this here is the beginning or the end of the official UNESCO Val de Loire World Heritage Site. So beyond here is basically, it's not. So I looked at a couple of locations earlier on, sort of ruined castle and then a, a point of view as well as, as well as a beautiful church which weren't in the Loire Valley, but they're so close, I thought maybe they might be worth including. But this place here, maybe what I would prefer as a photographer, if you are to think, well, what are you going to do with this scene, is that is horrible. I wish that wasn't there. It's not in my photograph. And I wish that the boats that were there were here. They would provide some really nice foreground interest. The other thing is, is I got a 2470 on, so I've gone into the into the church just a little bit. I've put a grad on, and I'm doing it black and white. Is it fine art? No, this is not going to be fine art landscape photography in the Loire Valley. It's just a long exposure, just to do something with it, because it just looks it's not the best. This is not really what I want to be showing you how I work. But you know what? This is just a recce, I guess. It's now turning into this day it's nothing else there's, there's just nothing that I can do with it it's it stopped raining which is something there's a little bit of form in the cloud but there isn't much else folks so is this going to be the best vlog to introduce you if you've this is the first time you're coming across my work no this is not really what I want to be showing people but what can you do it's just uh, you rely on the weather forecast the weather forecast is completely up the creek there's not much you can do I'll show you what I've done in the back of the camera and explain my, my methodology for what it is that I've done and then wrap up, I guess. Yeah, I'm not in the best mood today, that's for sure. That's the scene on the back of the camera. That's what I'm looking at. That's how I possibly envisage it. Why not more to the right? Let me unlock my camera. Let me show you. If I just go here, you'll see there's these trees that are here on the side. So what I've done is basically just put my camera in position just there, get rid of them. And then I don't want the horizon in the middle. That looks absolutely awful. So what I'm doing is I'm just pulling it up, pull the camera up ever so slightly, pull that horizon off the middle. So yes, the steeple of the church may be the reflection off the bottom do I really mind no it's okay I'd actually have rather have a little bit of space in the sky for me doing this as a YouTube video this particular scene it has two uses this particular scene that I'm looking at right now the first is that it's going to be the cover of the YouTube video because there's enough space on the right hand side and the second is just compositionally I just feel that going in too far if I was to put on my 100 to 400 and really crop in to maybe there, then I, it just loses too much from what I can see, from what my eye sees. And of course, the other thing that I've done, and I'm actually going to take a photo now, because what's going on is there's some wood or something that's just drifting out here. And, and with the 10 second exposure, it might actually do something slightly graphic. I guess we will see in a minute. So there you go, you've got these nice leading lines, although it's actually the exposure has increased. I need to pull that back. Let's pull that back to six seconds and see what it does. But what hopefully will happen is we'll get a bit of a zigzag line going in towards the church. So this is how the sun might actually come out amazingly enough. So yes, you can see it's created almost like this leading line going in. And I think this is what you've got to be doing all the time when you're working as a pro, is you've just got to be looking and thinking, is there anything else that I might be able to do here? So for example, I look at the histogram and I think, well, maybe, just maybe, I can get another third of a stop out of the image and I might be able to pull it back. 
in the raw file in Lightroom because of course the back of the camera is a JPEG. Let's have a look at that. So it hasn't overexposed, which is good. So, but I have lost, sadly, the leading line that I kind of had here. So that goes to show you why you should be thinking all the time what could and couldn't happen. There's another lot coming out. Will it work as good? I don't know. So there's a nice line coming in here now. There's some wood that's drifting out. Let's try that. Let's just see what happens. Maybe it will work, maybe not. If it doesn't, well, I'll just wrap up. Let's have a look. What's it going to do? So it's 8 second exposure, ISO 100, F11. That's not too bad. It's not too bad, but it's not really what I want. So let's try again, just see what happens. Because there's a lot more seems to be coming out there. There's more of a line going around there now. So it might create a nice S-curve going in towards the church there. Let's have a look. Let's see what it does. There's the exposure there. So that's not so bad. Although there is some overexposure. The sun is trying to come out in the southwest. But I've kind of got an almost leading line that's coming in, S-curve, leading you into the church there. And then when you look at the histogram, what it, what is it that's blowing out? It's probably the blue channel is probably what's blowing out. But there you go. That's uh, kind of how I think at times, what can I do with these things? So there's a little bit more wood coming out. I'm just going to try one more exposure and then see what it does and then wrap up. But there you go. These are my thoughts off the top of my head. In one take. Can I do it in one take at times? Not all the time, but there we go. It's overexposed a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. Right, I'll wrap up. So there you go. That must be what I, I guess must be the worst vlog I've ever done. A vlog that I just honestly, folks, this is not really what I want to be doing and introducing people to when it comes to my work. It's it's a very frustrating day today for me because yes, it's been good on the one hand, and in, in that I've found new places and marked places off that I thought would be a good idea to pay, take people to, and then not a good idea to take people to and found a couple of other places actually that could be interesting um, but yeah it's kind of just like nah it's just not really the day that I really want to and what's really frustrating is that I'm probably not going to get a sunset and you can see there's a maybe there's a bit of a break in the cloud will it do anything do you know what I don't think it's going to I think today is a day where you go cut your losses go back you actually you've got something to do in the evening and just see you next week if you have enjoyed it well thank you if you have enjoyed it but i'm i kind of have a sh a very strong feeling people are going to go no this is a really horrible vlog what on earth were you thinking coming out if you had thought that let me know but hopefully next time when i do another one somewhere in france probably in the loire valley hopefully it'll be better better lights we shall see but as I said, I'm only going to do one vlog a week now because I don't have the time. I really don't have the time to be doing two vlogs. It takes up a lot of time to, to get out there, to be doing the research and, and doing what it was that I was doing for, from September to December last year. And I've got actually a huge problem with copyright infringement with my work that I need to take probably 20 to 30 people to court because they have infringed my copyright and uh, they think they're going to get away with it and they're not going to get away with it. So I've, I have to fight for my rights and that takes time to do that. It takes a good three to four hours to type up a court summons for somebody. So um, I've got 20 to 30 to do and I get an infringement every three to four days. So um, you can imagine the other work that I've got to do. It's not it's not uh, it's not the best but in any case I'll see you next time somewhere soon folks and I hope to give you some much better light somewhere either in the Loire Valley or somewhere else in France take care all right folks and I'll see you again soon see ya bye